This is my sixth year, sixth year of LPJ. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so tell me, you're, when you started, what you did your first year? Um, we started um, implementing school-wide with math. Um, we needed, our school was in need of showing some continuous improvement, having our students meet AYP. Mm -hmm. And we, the ISU brought you in, brought L to J in and trained our entire staff. Um, School-wide, we decided to go with math and the, my department, three, two of the teachers and myself, we decided we also wanted to implement L to J with spelling. Um, really thought that spelling was, was the instigator of cramming. And we wanted to just get that fixed. Did you fix spelling? Yes, L to J fixed spelling. And what's your evidence that it fixed spelling? Um, students were able to spell their words outside of the test. They showed up in their writing, everyday um, homework practices. Mm -hmm. they, were, they, were, they were spelling their words correctly. So then you came here to a new school, mm -hmm. and you did um, math and science and reading. Mm -hmm. Right off the bat, three subjects. Right off the bat. Uh, we, I talked to the kids a little bit today. They were a little shocked. <laughs> what, what did you observe when you started off with asking mm -hmm. them questions? from the whole year's content right in the beginning, and they'd never experienced this before. Right, they had never, it was like shell shock. They had never experienced it, um, didn't even know what L to J was, mm -hmm. hadn't explained the whole process going from an L to a J. Um, just decided to give them quizzes. They were obviously um, needing improvement, um, but that told me, you know what, I've got my work cut out ahead of me, and mm -hmm. they only have room now to grow, which they have. So they were leery, they were, some were excited, to see where this was going. Mm -hmm. um, some were almost in tears mm -hmm. because they, they were scared. Mm -hmm. What if I get this wrong? Um, I had to really emphasize that this is not graded. Mm -hmm. And then they were, it was a lot better. You started three new subjects towards the end of the year, last quarter of school, essentially. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you added and how it's going. Um, yes, I started new, three new subjects here towards the end. Now that I've got my feet underneath me in a new district, I know the curriculum. Um, I'm I added spelling, um, math fluency, which is math facts, and states and capitals. So how are they going? Are they, how do the kids think about having six L to J quizzes every week now? They love it. They actually beg for even more quizzes. Um, they just want me to keep adding another one each week. Um, we're, we're to the point where we're showing growth in all three subjects, spelling, math facts, and states and capitals, and they're loving it, begging, for, begging to do it more than once a week. <laughs> Are you surprised that kids would have six quizzes a week and they would ask for more? <laughs> Before L to J, yes. I would not believe it. But uh -huh. after my six years with L to J, I, I get it. I understand it. and I rejoice with it. I love that they're begging for more. Everybody knows that kindergarten kids come to school loving school. Mm -hmm. uh, I've asked lots of teachers, you know, surveyed them, what percent of your kids love school? at each grade level, and it goes down each grade level. Yes. How would you compare their love of school to the love that kindergartners have of school? Um, with L to J, I would say fifth grade's very comparable to what how the kindergartners feel about school. They love, they beg for it to be an L to J day, which every day is now that we're doing six a, six a week, or yeah, six in a week. And um, I see their excitement as like a kindergartner's, just over the top love to learn and if a new concept shows up that they haven't had yet they want to know how to do it like right now <laughs> um pressure as generally teachers pressure kids to learn more mm -hmm. where, where is that pressure now is it is it still you pressuring them or is it more them pressuring you it's them pressuring me now um i i don't have to pressure them at all to learn something new they want to learn that so that they can get their next all-time best. So they're pressuring me. If they haven't had it, they want to know how to do it now. So what do they, how do they pressure you? What do they say? They'll say, we haven't had that yet. Can, I, can, can you show me how to do this? Show me how to do this now. <laughs> and usually I'll have to say, okay, give me a minute. Let's get through this first, and then let's show you how to do this. Or sometimes I'll just stop everything and just show everybody how to do it. And they're usually pulling out their notebooks, interactive notebooks, and writing it down so they've got it. Now at your prior school, the whole school was doing math. Yes. So talk about that. Um, with everyone in, our, in my prior school doing math, um, each student w with their individual all-time best was given a star. And we'd hang those stars in the hallway. And that was neat for them to see their star hanging amongst the population of the entire school. 
knowing that their score contributed to a school-wide all-time best, which we would celebrate as an entire school. And the principal would bring a whole class down and we would all say the cheer together with the class saying it over the loudspeaker. And that was, it was fun. It really involved, felt, made everyone feel like they were part of the school community. So you could, in this school and time, have three ways to celebrate, student and class and school. Yes. That would, that's kind of what your dream is. Yes. That would happen. Mm -hmm. What do you say to people who are first hearing about Health J and they think, I don't have time? Mm -hmm. What do you say? I say, once you jump in and get started, you will have more time than you could dream of. And you can really take your class to places that you've never taken them. Why can you take them more places? Because it, it, it removes students' permission to forget. And you're not spending a fourth of your year in review. You can skip those lessons, skip those units, and go straight into the, into the current grade standards and just get started right away, first day of school if you wanted. And that allows you time then to get in the extras, to get into the advanced questions. Advanced concepts. You, uh, you have uh, three daughters. Mm -hmm. and they've all three experienced Delta J yes. in other schools. Yes. But they're not experiencing it in their new school this year. No. Tell me what your daughters tell you at home. They're upset. That was their first question when we moved here. Is, is there going to be Delta J at our new building? Um, and my answer was no. I knew that they had not adopted it. Um, and I knew teachers weren't using it there. Um, my middle daughter was extremely upset, extremely, because she was very successful with Elda J and loved it, just loved that. She's very competitive and loved to be challenged with it. Um, she tested out in first grade in math. What does that mean, tested out? She had seven perfect scores in a row on the math quizzes at our previous school, mm -hmm. and she loved that. She, she loved having that recognition for that, and she also loves math. So when we got here, she was starting to just quiz herself because she knew there was an L to J here. And I found her even making her own graphs and coloring in her all-time best. And she asked me then, Mom, do you have extra graphs that I can have so I can chart my all-time best? And that's when I thought, you know, I could give her some quizzes. I could get her some fourth grade quizzes because that's the grade she's in. And so she's, since that was about September that I started to do that. And now it's May. And... Um, She's just really taken off. She's tested out of the fourth grade, <laughs> of the fourth grade math quizzes. And, um, but I'm using with her and she's charting them and she's hanging them on the refrigerator and we're celebrating. So usually she gets to pick what we're having for supper or whatever when she's got her all time best. And so they miss it, they love it, and they want it back. A person was interested in Alta J and you say just jump in. Mm -hmm. You've got six subjects going. Do they jump in with six? What do, you, what do you tell them? I usually encourage people that are just learning L to J, start it in one area. Pick one area and get started. And then as, as your class evolves, they might be asking you, please start another one. <laughs> or you might be ready just to start another one. Oh, some teachers just do one, and then the next year they add in another one. Others feel more comfortable to add in as the year goes, and that's fine too. I learned from uh, Julie Otero and some of her teachers, that 28 quizzes a year worked. Mm -hmm. Where every week is too much, mm -hmm. every other week's not enough. Is 28 working for you? 28's perfect. Okay. So that's seven times a quarter. Yeah. So do the kids complain the two weeks each quarter when you don't have Delta J? Yes. Yes, they do. But the teacher thinks <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's usually a, you know, there's so much going on in those short little weeks. It's usually right before Christmas break that we don't give one. And usually um, first week of school, I don't give one, or it's the last week of school. And that's how it's going to be this year. It's gonna, we're not going to have one that very last week of school. And they're going to, I can already hear it, they're going <laughs> to beg me to just give them. And I, maybe it will. Maybe it will. Yeah, anyway. yeah. <laughs> just do it. Just to see what happens. <laughs> see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. And so the last week of school, the kids could be begging for another quiz. Yeah. And when does that ever happen? When does that happen? <laughs> what do you want to add to the questions I've asked you already? I'd like to add that 
Elder J really intrinsically motivates the kids. I, I've never seen them wanting to learn. Their love of learning is just through the rough. I don't have to buy the stickers, you know, the pencils, the certificates, whatever, to keep kids going, to keep kids wanting to learn. You know, teachers spend a fortune on their classrooms already. Elder J really is neat to see kids wanting to do better just because of a number on a graph.